shortage of auto technicians across the country has some shops scrambling now for help. Yes, but in Silicon Valley, community colleges are doing their part to replenish the workforce. ABC 7 News reporter Chris Wynn is live at Evergreen Valley College with more. Chris. Hi, Alma. Earlier today, the college unveiled its $13 million state-of-the-art automotive technology center. It is brand new. And as more of these mechanic jobs become technical, educators say more students should look at it as a career. A quick look around and you'll see this isn't your average auto shop. It's really difficult to get uh, a new generation to get uh, interested in this industry. It's kind of got a stigma about it, a nuts and bolts type of industry. But educators at Evergreen Valley College are trying to change that. Today, students and community members gathered for the grand opening of the school's automotive technology center. As things have changed. Uh, cars don't really break the way they used to anymore. Um, you don't do a lot of greasy work anymore. It's either maintenance or it's um, diagnostic work. At a cost of $13 million approved by taxpayers, the 25,000 square foot facility has been designed with student success in mind. 20 lab spaces along with the latest equipment to help train students for jobs in the electric car industry. It's fun to see young people involved in it. This is a perfect opportunity because this college is showing these kids and teaching these kids and getting these kids involved in what the new technology is about. Nearly 250 students are enrolled in automotive technology classes at any given time. School officials say close to 80% complete a certificate program and go on to secure a job in the industry. In fact, students that come out of the EVC program have gone on to work for companies such as Honda, Chrysler, and Tesla, all of them embracing the skills that make them marketable. Day to day saying, oh, you know, I fixed this, I fixed that. Just having that joy of saying that, oh yeah, I did that. So it kind of motivates me to keep on going. A profession that in recent years has become much more technical. How to see each component work together and discover new ways how components relate to each other is really interests me and intrigues me to learn more every day. In San Jose, Chris Wynn, ABC 7 News.